All right, we got Bandit. Yes, you're awesome. Good boy. We're going to do his first off lead session. So he's coasting around in here. He's looking for tri uh, little kibbles that I've dropped. Um, he is on a 20 and he's going to be working on the black button. So the first thing we're going to do is have him go through the door politely and then we'll start calling him back. Hey, hey bud, bandit. So I want him to see that I'm opening this door and he's, I clearly have dropped a lot of kibbles here this morning in my feeding routine. Hey, I want him to see the door. Come on. Hey, hey. Pressure here, and that's on a 20. Yeah, he says, ah, I want to go through that door. So I may end up turning him up. Hey, good boy. Excellent, good boy. I've got my door open a little bit. Ah, 20. Yeah, good. So I just close the door on him just a little bit. Excellent, good boy. Good boy. Okay, good boy. And then let him out after he gives me a few seconds of respect. Good boy. And he figures out he's off lead. So I'm switching hands with my bumper, or bumper, uh, transmitter, sorry. <laughs> Bumpers for training other dogs. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, this is fun. So uh, this morning they're doing their first off lead session, both uh, Scout and Bandit. And um, then this afternoon they'll get to come out together. And we start, I start working them both at the same time on all of their drills. So they start to listen even though the other puppy is out with them. Good boy. Excellent. boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Bandit. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. <clears throat> so he's doing nicely. He's gotten better about um, not hollering every single time I pick him up. Um, he's become more tolerant of that. But he's definitely a more physically sensitive dog in that way than Scout is. Um, but so far, he works at a little higher level on the remote collar. And neither one is working at a high level. Um, all right, this is what I want him to do, is get a little distracted. Good boy. That's perfect. Good boy. A nice little sit when he comes to me. That's what he's been learning, is that you don't come in and jump. All right, let him get a little distracted there. And I'm going to be using the black button here, because he's wearing the black collar strap. And that coincides. Bandit! Yeah! Good boy! All right, I want him to come in, and that's it. Good boy. He should sit without being told. Good boy. That's just going to become a default behavior. As you come up to humans and you sit, you don't jump. All right, I'm going to get a little bit closer to him because I haven't done any conditioning to the recall yet. So I don't want him to get that much distance. So I'll try him again. Bandit! So pressure here. Okay, he's squeaking a little bit, so that means I'm gonna turn him down. He's going, oh, 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 I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. So right away I turn him down. Good boy, good boy. All right, very good. And I'm gonna reward him just for coming back to me. Good boy, good boy. It would have been even better if he'd have sat, but that's okay. We're just still learning all of this. 
Good boy. Good boy. He's not sure quite what to do with all this space. He's definitely more stressed by being separated from Scout than Scout is from being separated from him. And that is not surprising with a uh, an Aussie type breed, mini Aussie. There's oftentimes a lot of anxiety in these guys, so good boy. Oh yes, you're a winner, good boy. Bandit, good. You dropped it, you'll find it. That's it, good boy. All right, so I still haven't really gotten to push a button with him just that one time when it was a little too high. Good boy. So I'd like to get some more opportunities. I'll take him here along the fence line <coughs> because that will hopefully get him a little bit distracted. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> You're fine, silly. Good boy. Good boy. So part of what I'm looking for in this session is for him to start engaging with me more. Bandit. Good boy. And pay more attention to me than he does to his surroundings. And so he's actually doing that already without much assistance from me. Oh, he's a fast little bugger. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good boy. Perfect. Good. Oh, just chew it up before you swallow it. Yeah. Come on, mister. Come on, that a boy. Try walking him back towards the front of the kennel. Since he seemed to be kind of attracted to that. Wait until I get a little bit closer. Bandit. Bandit, a little tap. Excellent. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. You got to get it out of my hand, buddy. Good. All right. That was fantastic. <clears throat> I want to be able to just use light pressure with these guys, just enough to give them information. All right, we'll use that door as a distraction. Oh, you're a winner. Good boy. Good boy. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to turn my camera off. I'm getting to have a big enough file here that it'll take a while to upload. Um... There he is. He's doing super. Uh, two boys, or two boys, a boy and a uh, scout and bandit will both get out this afternoon and uh, get to work together. 
and uh, make sure that they're listening even with each other's company. Um, <clears throat> oh, good boy. Yes, that was a good boy. All right, I'm gonna turn them off and get this bucket out of the way and keep working him here. I know it. All right, there he is. 